Well, I'm here at Pitts Lane in Mudgee, and you can see the road behind me that heads down towards the main stadium and also down to the netball courts. The footpath I'm on is also very widely used, not just for actual events, but also for day-to-day -day walking. Now, the $50,000 I'm presenting today to the Midwestern Regional Council means another 10 or so light poles between here and Eulen Road to make this road and pathway uh, a much safer uh, usage pathway during those nighttime events and also for when people want to go walking at night time. Things will be getting darker earlier, people still want to be able to maintain their health and fitness and this walking path is a really important part of all of that. So $50,000 today to go towards lighting for the remainder of this section that currently doesn't have lights. The poles in the background you can see have been installed by council over the last couple of years. This $50,000 means from where we're standing through to Eulen Road will be done in the next six months hopefully. People that get up early in the morning that do this loop, which is really popular, uh, come out of town over the, uh, the Lawson Holly Oak Bridge down here, then back over the swinging bridge back to town. It's a really popular walkway. So for the early risers and the people that you know don't finish work till five o'clock of an afternoon in winter time, it's getting a bit dark. It'll be fantastic. So that fifty thousand dollars from the state government is a wonderful gesture by them to to um, you know just keep improving the the activities of the of the region, you know, encouraging people to get out, have a walk, um, not just in these times, but at all times, and uh, keep a bit of the tummy off. This pathway is about two and a half metres wide, so people can still get their exercise, get out and about, get some fresh air, and be distanced while they're doing that from a physical sense, but also staying connected socially, which is what we're talking about. So this is about making this uh, a much more usable thoroughfare. The lighting will mean people can do it early in the morning or late at night and still feel safe and secure, but also maintain that physical distance that we talk about.